The following video might not be suitable for everyone. Viewer's discretion is advised. Hey, my you, you know where I watch. Alright viewers and subscribers, my name is Dan Salskill. I'm a day again. Big up and respect to each and everyone. You see it? So, I wonder if any of you, my viewers and subscribers, remember a person who goes by the name of Garfield Burford. See me? Some of you, my viewers and subscribers, might remember him as a news reporter on television within the country of Jamaica. You see it? Now, for some time now, I realize I'm not see Garfield Burford as often as me used to see him on my television, you see me? And one day one of my viewers contacted me dance and skill and you know with a whole of reason and my viewer show me a link that's online that shows a so-called letter. And the letter is about Garfield Burford. You see me? Now according to the context of the letter, it seems as if Garfield Burford left Jamaica and gone somewhere within the islands of Antigua and Barbuda and it seems as if he's there doing the same journalism work or news reporting work you see me I say and according to some more things that I read in this so-called letter it seems as if someone is trying to make it be very clear that him or her do not want to see Garfield Burford on his or her television so I'm going to do my best and read this letter to you, my viewers and subscribers, and see if we can get an understanding if Garfield Burford get a fight in Antigua, or if I get a fight in Barbuda, or if I get a fight within the islands. Then you understand? You see it? Now, when it comes down to the pronunciation of names, maybe I pronounce the names, or maybe I don't pronounce the names them not at all. Because some of the times, when I pronounce a name one way, it is pronounced another way you understand even though the spelling look a certain way isn't it yes yeah, so i might leave out the names or i might pronounce them isn't it and please bear in mind that uh, i might not read out the whole letter accurately you understand anyways i could get into this thing you know isn't it dear minister nicholas and erna do not put burford back on tv Okay, all right, go get into this now. This is an open letter to the Minister of Information, Melford Nicholas, and the General Manager of ABS. I am humbly asking you to publish it on your website. Now that the quarantine period is coming to an end, for the employees of ABS, after one of them tested positive for coronavirus i would like it to be placed on record that i don't want to see garfield burford back on my television screen over the last several years we were made to believe that there is no antigua born person with the skill and capability to present the evening news we know that this is not the case and there are local personalities who can do the job but this was made even more compelling with the superb job done by r anderson and the last name is there i can't pronounce it the last name very well you see me? I'm not good with last name pronunciations. Anyways, since Burford has been placed in isolation. How that sound to your viewers and subscribers? How that sound to you? This so-called letter seems to be out there from last year in the viewers and subscribers. You see it? Yeah, according to the date that I'm looking at on this article that I'm reading, yeah, it seems as if uh, this so-called letter had been put out there from last year the year 2020 since burford has been placed in isolation anyways i'm gonna go and read again i do not wish to see burford back on my television screen his voice is jarring and frankly i am tired of the theatrics burford is just too full of himself and 
he is difficult to watch and even more difficult to listen to. If Burford was brought in to provide training and development for the local talent and after all these years he has not been able to bring anyone up to an acceptable level to anchor the news then he has failed wow garfield burford from jamaica you know see garfield burford from jamaica see anyways let me see what i want i am not saying that burford is not a great journalist or a media personnel but please if his services are still required at abs let him do whatever he has to do in the background whoa well and so why is it that uh, who's to ever write this so-called letter is trying to make sure that burford is not seen on the tv basically Put him at the back of the line or something this not sound right this sound a way man this sounds like uh, you know like uh, someone just directly have something against someone please keep mr and the name is right there as the evening news anchor a word to the wise is sufficient i am putting you all on notice that if the ballot box is what it will have to take to get Burford off our local ABS TV and for us to have a local anchor then by all means keep him there it seems as if Garfield Burford I get a fight in Antigua yeah it seems as if someone within Antigua I give Garfield Burford a fight is it me I'm telling you what I think according to the things that I read in that so-called letter. You see me? And I'm wondering if this letter actually is a real letter that had been written and sent to the manager of ABS and the minister of uh, information within that country. You, know? you see what I say? Because sometimes, you know, you have persons who will spread fake news on social media and give some misleading information on social media to your viewers and subscribers so not because this so-called letter had been posted on social media i'm still wondering if this whole thing is for real or if it's fake news or what you see me i'm wondering if this so-called letter is actually a real letter or what you see me yeah it have me thinking and if any of you my viewers and subscribers from within the country that is known as antigua and barbuda can let me know what this so-called letter is about please explain it to me leave a comment in the comment section see me yeah let me know what this whole thing is about really and truly you understand because i've seen garfield burford on my television and the way how him the news reporting i think he's a good news reporter me not find a fault with him see so if him leave jamaica and gone to a different country to do news reporting i'm wondering if he's not doing his job properly within another country that he's at see but if he's doing a good job then I don't think that there should be a problem see so this so-called letter have me wondering why someone is making such a request yeah man this so-called letter seems to be from one person you see me I would never judge everyone on an island or everyone within a country based on what one person had done no, I would never do that. See? Well, anyways, you know, yes, I'm going it, yeah. Big up and respect to each and every one. And if you're new to my channel, don't be afraid to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a video. So until the next time, my name is Dan Sars. Killer, you know, big up on yourself. You see it? Hey, my you, you know where you watch? Dan Sars, Killer! Hey, yo, Skiller. Dance.
Sauce. Kill it. Tint.